Welcome back to Prince Clement Entertainment. To get daily trendy news and your favorite celebs update, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Hello guys, last episode tuliwacha Lea akiwa mesawo phone yake kwa gari ya Governor Jomo. Episode ya Leo, Lea goes to Kush, Governor Jomo's driver, to ask for a phone, which Kush tells her that Governor Jomo ndiye akonayo. Lea goes to Governor Jomo akiwa amejam kuitisha phone yake, to her surprise, Governor Jomo anakata kumpatia akidai kuwa yendi alibai hiyo phone na hata mrudishia. Governor Jomo then tells Lea to return all the money that he has spent on her, including the money that he paid for Lea's mother-in-law hospital bill. Governor Jomo and Lea chat a little bit about the relationship that they had, where Lea confesses that she had loved the governor. The governor then tells Lea that if she truly loved him, she should break up with Kyoria, or else he will tell Kyoria that the child she is expecting is not his. Lea refuses and threatens to tell Karen about their love affair, which causes the governor to almost hit Lea before they get interrupted by Gidesha. Gidesha, who knows about the love affair between Lea and the governor, tells the governor that he is speculating that Lea and Kyoria have planned the pregnancy story so as to extort money from the governor. Gidesha anasema kuwa, ame investigate Lea and Kyoria na haka come up with a conclusion that Kyoria anajua usiano wa governor na Lea na wanataka ku extort pesa kutoka kwa governor, something that governor Jomo does not believe. Huku nae the heartbroken nyambu, akona stress junik na mukami wa mipendana sana. She's almost given up on fighting for Nick's love. Her meeting with Magi gets disrupted by Karen, who calls Magi. Magi is Lea's maid of honor, however, she has not planned anything on Lea's bridal shower. Karen calls her to plan Lea's bridal shower and baby shower. Karen then offers to take care of all the expenses. As Magi is doing her work, Mokami comes to complain why she has not been invited to Lea's bridal shower and baby shower, something that causes a lot of drama till Magi agrees to invite her. Before Mokami leaves, Nyambu arrives and Mokami starts to boast of her bridal shower, which Nyambu and Magi laugh at her. She then lies to them that Nick has proposed to her, something that leaves Nyambu heartbroken. At Sandra's place, Nyawera takes breakfast to Moreu in his room, who she finds preparing to go to work. However, Moreu refuses to eat her food, na namuacha hapo na madharau na kumshow aende ushago. Moriu arrives at his mom's shop, who is shocked to see him because of the robbery incident that she recently experienced. Sandra then reveals to Moreu that during the robbery, she was robbed a gemstone worth 200,000 Kenya shillings and the police have not yet found the robbers. Kumbe Moreu ndia aliplania mamake njama aibiwe. Alikuwa mepanga deal na jambazi, jemo, amuibie masake vitu worth 30k, lakini Jemo alibeba vitu worth 200k na kauza 40k. Jemo then tells Moreu that they should plan another robbery and this round they will share 50-50. While Governor Jomo and his wife Karen are eating lunch, Governor Jomo akona stress juu ya story ya Lea na Kyoria. Governor Jomo then reminds Karen of the Arambe meeting they were to attend. However, Karen says that she cannot make it to the Arambe since she is organizing Lea's bridal shower and baby shower. Karen then jokes of how Lea and Kyoria might name their son Jomo Jr., which angers the governor and a quarrel ensues between Governor Jomo and Karen, causing the governor to leave Karen at the table while very angry. That's all for today, guys. That